Well, it's been an exciting couple weeks to be a cricket fan in the United States. Uh, the last two weeks, we have seen uh, the first ICC World Cup played in the United States, which has been amazing. Um, a lot of great matches. Um, not the first international cricket matches played here, though. I, I made a video a while back. I'll just quickly recap a little bit of history. But the first cricket match played between international countries was actually between these countries, Canada and the United States, the first international cricket match. It was actually played in 1844. This is from uh, 1858, so 14 years later. This one's in Hoboken. And then the first overseas cricket match ever played was also in Hoboken, and that was actually in 1859. Um, and there were supposedly, I think they said five to 10,000 spectators at that match. And that was against the greatest cricket team of the time, uh, George Parr's 11, the English cricketers, who handily won uh, the cricket match. So, you know, after this time, cricket lost some popularity here. Um, but, wow, what a couple weeks, huh? So, just to quickly recap um, some of what's happened in the last couple weeks. So, the U.S. team uh, played Canada again and won. I was not expecting the U.S. team to win any matches. They did did beat Canada. They have uh, kind of a ragtag bunch of guys that couldn't make most of the uh, the most uh, best teams in the in the world. They then went out and beat one of those best teams in the world, Pakistan, which I was not expecting. Uh, ESPN, Sports Center, all the the major news uh, channels here in the U.S. have been covering cricket to some extent. Uh, there were some tweets about Virat Kohli. Uh, there was also some news within the last few weeks about. Major League Cricket. Um, so Pat Cummins, the uh, the star bowler from and, and the captain of the Aussie team, is going to play for for the uh, San Francisco Unicorns. And uh, and I didn't even realize that my closest team here, the Washington D.C. team, has uh, Steve Smith, Travis Head, and Glenn Maxwell, and Ricky Ponting's the coach. So I'm definitely going to try to make it out to a match, uh, which is going to be played about next month, um, a couple hours from here. So anyway, a lot of good stuff there. But today, today the U.S. team played against uh, India and actually put up a great showing. I got to watch some of that match. Uh, and also today, I received this magazine. So this is the PSA magazine, uh, which is the U.S. Um, grading company, the most popular grading company in the world. Um, and they grade cards, and a lot of people have mixed feelings about that, but... Um, you know, just so this is some of the regular content that you'll see in there. A lot of, uh, you know, the major U.S. sports are covered. Sometimes some other things, um, you know, Eric Bedard is, uh, or Connor Bedard is, the, <laughs> Eric Bedard was a pitcher. Connor Bedard is the, uh, the big hockey player right now, so he's on the cover this month. But, um, but check this out. There is a cricket card article, and I just got this magazine today. So kind of all of this is hitting at once, but... A cricket card article in the PSA magazine. Uh, a lot of quotes in here from our dear friend Luke. Shout out Luke. Thanks for uh, for spreading the love and, and knowing the right people to talk to. A really solid article. There's definitely some typos in here. Um, some things that I think they probably, in retrospect, could have or, or would have done a little bit differently. But uh, overall, really awesome to see uh, cricket covered in such a big way um, in the sports card world. So uh, there you have the Gem Mint 10 Auto 10 uh, Bradman Signature Card. I am sad to say that I had one of those, and uh, I was convinced to sell it, but that's okay. Um, uh, there's a picture of Virat Kohli in the magazine. Strangely enough, there is actually no mention of Virat Kohli in the article anywhere. Um, not even a caption under his picture, which is very odd if you ask me. But uh, again, um, nitpicking maybe. Um, you know, I could actually go through a few other things. They had the the years wrong and cricket attacks, so they said it started in 2012. It was actually 2011. I'm actually going to do a video on the 2011 cricket attacks uh, uh, set soon because that's one of my favorite modern sets. Uh, they had this one wrong as well. It should have been 2014 was the year that Tops introduced the cricket attacks World Cup. It was actually a 2014 and a 2015 set. Um, they uh, they called Lambert and Butner Lemon and Butler for some reason. They said that there were only um, 
Only five of the 1928 Don Bradman Ogdens ever graded by PSA, which would be interesting because I probably have close to five myself. But anyway, again, that's pretty nitpicking. I'm glad that they got Gary Sobers. I would have preferred the uh, the Barrett rookie to the Scanlans, but that's fine. They highlighted the uh, the total Sasha total, which is which is great. Obviously, deserves to be in the article. We got to see Ricky Ponning's. Uh, Rookie card here, and they talk about the 1996 World Cup Futura set. Uh, for some reason, they, they talk about Malinga a lot in this article. I'm not exactly sure why they focus so much on him instead of the other great bowlers that uh, that undoubtedly had even more dominant careers. But but there you go. So a nice little article, um, some great quotes from Luke. Uh, they compare Bradman to Babe Ruth and talk about the – the connection there. They talk about how cricket goes back to the 1500s, some of the history there. Um, and, you know, got to love any U.S. magazine that's publishing articles about Don Bradman. So there you go. Uh, biggest couple weeks in cricket in the United States, probably in 150 years. Um, I, I will say that uh, our dear friend uh, Peter Schofield and, uh, and a colleague wrote a great book about when the Aussies came to the states back in uh, about a hundred years ago, a little bit more than a hundred years ago, and uh, I'm about halfway through that, so I'll I'll give a review once I get all the way through. But very interesting content there. But there is history here, a lot of history, a lot of history in Pennsylvania and New York, uh, cricket related as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I think these guys would be pretty happy that uh, that there's cricket being played once again uh, this side of the pond.